Greetings, I'm Epic Titus, and this is Epic Tech. And I've been upgrading our little balloon workshop. I added in some upper areas here because we need to be able to do some testing. Uh, also, we had a little visitor in the middle of the night that made a mess of my prototype here, but that's okay. We can we can fix it. Shouldn't be a problem. But first, we're going to have some fun. So I was playing with the idea of a vehicle, something along these lines. I thought, I wonder if I could make something that was completely self-propellable. So I made something that's completely self-propellable. And as you can see, I cannot walk off of this. I have to jump in order to get off, and there's a reason for that. Because if I try to drive this, you can see that it moves, but I don't. So the only way I'm going to stay on this, short of a mod, is by having something that'll keep me here. That's exactly what I've made. I made myself a little cage, effectively. So I want to see if I can drive myself down this hill. Now, you might be asking yourself, how is that useful? And my answer to you would be, it is not. It is purely for fun. So in theory, I should be able to do this. You know, I was thinking of some kind of ramp sort of thing. Might be a good idea. It doesn't look like it even took very much damage. That's nice. Come on. See, the problem is it has wheels. We need to remove said wheels. Because without wheels, we should be able to flip it much easier. He says without really knowing what he's talking about. Oh, medieval engineer's physics. You are always entertaining. What it really needs is no wheels. someone to push on it really hard. Ooh. Oh. Well, that was fun and confusing. Oh. <laughs> this thing wants me dead. It also really wants me to be a female wearing red. None of those things do I agree with. Hmm. Also, where did my vehicle go? Um... I don't have a vehicle anymore. I see not even the remnants of it. So my guess is that it is actually in orbit or has buried itself completely underground. I have decided that we are not going to be um, building anything with wheels. Instead, we are going to be building a balloon today. Well, Quite possibly we won't be building a balloon today. What we're going to be doing is testing a balloon today. I have also discovered that the sun's arc right now, it, uh, it raises right there and sets about there. It just kind of goes like that. So we're getting very short days. I'm hoping that we get the opposite soon. We'll see. I may be wrong. 
Well, this is totally different than I did last time, but that's okay. The key is I cannot fall through that crack, but I can stand at the front. I like this. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make myself another propeller. That's okay. Before we do any of that, we need to do some testing. Because I've had a lot of suggestions, and some of them I don't think are going to work. And So let's find out. So here's my thought. What we can do is attach... I guess we're going to have to attach it to the bottom of that. Because I connected that wrong, but that's okay. Because I think we can reach from the bottom by doing this. Yes, we can. Okay. So we're going to stick a couple of these catch blocks right like that. And then we're going to go put a couple of rope drums up there. We'll use lockable rope rope drums. That's okay. So those two rope drums are going to simulate the forces created by our balloon, but in a much safer and easier to reproduce manner. So one of the things I heard the most often is I don't need to have the individual or the thing in between. I can just attach to either end. So I can stick that there, and I can stick that there, and if I attach to either one balloon to each side, no problems at all. It's not going to be an issue. Let me show you what's going to actually happen if I do that. This side. Okay. So, if we start lifting this up, let's go the other way. Maybe. There we go. Oop, oop, I started looking the wrong way. So I can't light both the balloons at the same time. This is what we're going to end up with if I light one of the balloons before the other and we don't have some sort of connector. So we're not going to do that. So my latest thought is to actually make a much larger we, we before we had this bar in the middle and the balloons were connected to the bar and then the bar was connected to the ship and it was kind of working it wasn't very stable it had some issues but it was kind of working so i want to actually continue to use something along those lines but i think it needs to be much larger so if I create something that is basically larger than the ship itself, so this is going to be 30 wide, 30 grid pieces, so three plank tens wide. I want to make sure that that's, ah, that's actually touching. I don't want to do that. So let's connect the back up. I think that that's going to be, yeah, it's going to be 22 wide because we got the extra ones on the sides there. And then I think I can get away with, I'm going to have to move it. It's okay. I don't mind moving this a little bit. This is a very large frame piece here. So now I'll put my connectors. That's fine. I don't mind doing that. Don't worry, I have thoughts. You're, you're, you're thinking I'm crazy right now, which is correct. But that's why you watch me do crazy things. Because you know I'm crazy. But every once in a while, my crazy ideas actually do things. And it's entertaining to watch me do crazy things. Right? I hope it is. That's kind of my whole point. Okay. Now, as I lift this, it's definitely going to end up kind of askew. Which is okay. Where I'm expecting that. So 
So here's this crazy frame that's floating up here, right? Hang on. I need to lower that down a little bit. Ah! God, I hate it when it does that. Because here's the thing. One of my issues is trying to get the balloons to actually be accessible from the inside. Come on. There we go. And so by having a frame that's actually larger than the ship, then it's not an issue to have the, the balloons be, like, basically right there, you know, hovering, like, really close and easy to access, hopefully. We'll see. Okay. Now the next question is... Can I attach these in such a way... Too close. These should work kind of like shock absorbers. Ish. At least that's my hope. And by the way, somebody in the comments paid me a huge compliment. Thank you. They said, your design is way more complicated than it needs to be. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. After all, if I made simple designs, would you watch what crazy things I do? No. You'd be like, I could make that. Which you could, even with my crazy designs. But why would you? When you can just watch me make a fool of myself. Alright. I'd really like to have approximately the same length rope. And it would have been a lot easier to do had I built this thing in a stable position first... But that's okay. Okay, I know what to do for next time. Just so you know. I know what mistakes I've already made. Eh, that's about right, I guess. Close enough. Hmm, that's not. Let's just bump this a little bit over here. That is very not close enough. Come on. Eh. Now it is. I don't care. I just want to see, in general, what happens when we do this. And if the ropes aren't quite right, that's okay. Okay. Now, notice how... <laughs> I know this is kind of a little ridiculous because I've got... I've got the ropes all different lengths and stuff. But you see how the angle of the boat isn't quite as bad as the angle of the... Maybe it's worse. doesn't seem as bad to me as it did when they were both individually connected. Maybe it's worse. I don't know. Seems good. Oops, wrong way. This way. Okay, I need to make sure that the ropes are the same distance. <laughs> That is definitely a thing, but this is what we do testing for. So now we gently lower it down, like that. See, no problem. And it only does a little bit of damage to the, uh, the boat and the floor. Oh, it was actually the frame. Didn't damage the boat at all. See, see, this is why I do things like this. 
Because, yeah, okay. Just ignore me. Okay. Floor is fixed. We're going to redo the frame entirely. So planks, just so you know, the reason I'm using mostly planks instead of timbers is the weight. Let me show you something really quick. A single plank is 2 kilograms. A single timber is 20 kilograms. So I can save quite a bit of weight by going with planks instead of timbers. So now this time, we attach the ropes first. And I'm going to attach them on the outside right next to where they're going to be connected. I'm not really sure that that's the best way. It might actually be better to have them longer. That's why we're going to test. By the way, I have lots and lots of flax, so don't worry about the ropes. All right, let's test this again. It's actually surprisingly stable. Like, I wouldn't actually mind staying on this thing. It's not stopping from rocking. It's actually rocking more and more as time goes on. That's not great. I don't understand. Let's lower this thing down a little bit. Now, I did forget to remove this piece. So let's see what happens without that piece there. There's a little bit more play, but I think I need longer rope than that. Now the other design I thought of was a hard gimbal sort of design, which it's a little more complicated, but if it works like in the real world, which it probably won't because it's medieval engineers, but, um, ow. See, this is why I kept band-aids around. Because if you, um, everybody knows if you break your leg, then you just eat a band-aid and you're fine. <sighs> Doesn't keep you from jumping off things stupidly anymore, but... It heals all wounds, you know, so that's good. What? There we go. Just have to jump, like, really early. So, I want to see... See, this is... not working well. Okay, I'm going to get off this before I die again. Let's lower this down before it decides to do something insane. I'm thinking I'm going to try out the hard gimbal technique. Okay, this may be my craziest idea yet, but, well, this should force the whole thing to tip toward the center of mass. Which, as long as the center of mass happens to also be in the center of the vehicle, then it should end up being somewhat, like, straight. I don't know. But this is going to remove a lot of the, well, this is either going to fail horribly or work spectacularly, so let's find out what happens. <laughs> so as you can see... It is actually staying pretty close to straight. Now, it's tilting a little bit to the front, 
because of these barrels, which I'm going to remove. And then, of course, to that side because of that barrel. And it's going to tilt a little bit to this side because of these extra pieces. But as long as we make sure that there's plenty attached to the center, which I'm thinking we can do by attaching, oh, say, a large chest underneath this thing. Might even be able to put those barrels there. And we can add more. I'm just kind of thinking something that'll somewhat bring the center of the mass. Oh, that doesn't look very good. It's not quite what I meant to do. That's really horrible, but that's okay. We, we'll, like I said, we'll deal with that later. Now I want to lift this side. So, okay. Making sure that the center of mass is very low and very well centered is going to be important. But I think this actually might work best. <laughs> it even kind of rocks like a boat. The sun's starting to come up. I want to make the best use of what little sunlight I'm getting these days. And I think I've got it fairly well balanced. And I've designed it so that it's not too hard to adjust the balance on the fly. So, ow. I can access all the things underneath. By the way, thank you to this comment right here. I can get underneath and get to various different things from fuel to food and other kinds of things. The hardest part now is actually like flying this thing because as I as soon as I start to use one of these it moves away from me. So this one here I can kind of stand up against the railing and it sort of works. But this one not as much. Thinking if I throw in kind of a this kind of thing hoping that I can stand up against that when I'm propelling. Yeah, that seems to work fairly well. I think we're ready for a test flight. Like an actual flight of the actual balloon, not just in my test rig here. So let's give this a try. I think I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, that was handy. Or at least it would have been if that had been where I actually wanted it. Now my hope is to keep this tied pretty close. Closer than that, hopefully. There. That's about right. Yeah. Can I kill two birds with one stone? No, not quite. I was hoping dropping that on this would bring it down, but... It's a little harder to lower with the other balloon attached. If I grab myself a little bit of fuel, and I get this balloon lifted off, then it's going to lift the other side, which will lower this side, which will keep these close. Right? Go! Why you no know lift, balloon? Oh, because it was caught. Okay. And, of course, my testing rig is in the way. Come on. There, that's kind of what I wanted. And that ran out of fuel. Okay. But we're still, we're closer. You know what? You. Get out of the way. You know what? That's close enough. 
Now, I'm going to need this whole thing to get a little further away from the uh, testing rig so we don't hit it on the way up. And then, how do I get up there? Here we go. I'm on. Yay. Okay. I can target everything except for... Oh, wait. Oh, 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 almost. There. What are the chances that this will actually function? Ah! What? Why did I die? What is going on? Here, give me my stuff. I'm betting that there's not enough like lift or something so if I bring if I remove some of these things aha thought that might be part of the issue lift lift. I'm going to leave behind a lot of the heavy stuff. We're going to try flying this without a lot of the weight that it had before. No chance of lift. I would love to lift, be lifted. What else is heavy? Oh, mostly the sticks. Okay. We're lifting. Okay, we're going somewhere. We're gonna go somewhere this time, huh? No, don't take it off. I don't even care where we go. Let's go, let's see if we can go that way. Okay. Not as easy as it looks. Also, we're going to run out of fuel faster than I want. Give me access to your fuel. Thank you. Let's give you a couple of those. And... Come on. No. No. Give me... Give me access to your fuel. Get out of the way. I saw it for a second. There we go. Now I just gotta light this thing. What did I just pick up? Ah. Oh. Okay. Of course I picked up the safety bar. Now that we're not in imminent danger of losing altitude... See if we can add some more fuel to this. Okay, let's try a shift F. No. That's definitely not the direction I want to go. I want to go this direction. It's working. It's actually working. I mean, I'm going to run out of fuel pretty soon here, but it's working. Is there anything else I can throw in as fuel? I should have brought a lot more fuel. All of a sudden, the sound cut out. I think we're higher than the game is really meant to go. No. No. Okay. Can I, um, please control this? All right. Let's see if we can... No, don't. Pick it up. There we go. Maybe I can... I'm not sure. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. It's nice and serene.
need to do something else about that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can put a little more ballast in this side. There we go. Sweet. This is actually working. I wonder how far I'll go. So, okay, so next version, I'm going to make sure I have access to the other side of the uh, gimbal connection here so that I can kind of force rotate it in the direction I want. Because this is kind of, you know, I'm still stable, but I've got one balloon way higher than the other. And I have a feeling we're going to start dropping soon. No. Keen, if you're listening, I would really like a way to, like, not... I'd like a way to lock out the ability to pick things up. Because in a situation like this... Oh, great. My, my steering wheel is over there. Okay. Here, maybe I can steal this one. Yeah, had a feeling I'd end up grabbing it. Okay. Where's my house? Actually, where am I even on the map? I have not gone very far. <laughs> That's okay. I want to look out the back. Let's see where we are. It's hard to tell because... Oh, wait, there's my house. There it is. For moments at a time, we can see the house there. Some great screenshots from up here. Actually, hang on. Can I do this? Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. But it's working. Oh, hey, guess who ran out of fuel finally? Okay. That one shouldn't be much further behind. If I had anything to feed it, I would. But I don't have any more fuel. And I can't reach that one. So, we're going down. I would like to point out that only one balloon is functioning and this ship is still level. Yeah. I like my gimbal design. Wish I could actually jump, though. Maybe if I remove this. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, that was fun. Let's look up. Oh! <laughs> we'll watch it come down. Nice. A perfectly safe landing. I could just give this thing more fuel and fly away with it again. But I think we'll save that for next time. Well, we didn't get very far away. I don't think that it's a realistic, you know, traveling device. We might be able to make it do something more. But for right now, I'm thinking, no. <laughs> I'm also going to try the car thing again. Because I think that... You know, I kind of screwed up by not having a, a ramp there or something. But I think we could actually drive a vehicle around better than a balloon using these little propellers. And before the sun goes down and we end the episode, I think I need to answer a couple of questions that I've seen pretty regularly in the comments. The first one being, no, I cannot attach the house to balloons, no matter how many balloons large grids are by definition stable they they cannot move if they're broken then they'll kind of you know fall to the ground and roll around with physics and that kind of thing however it's a temporary physics and you can't attach anything to those detached grids and you and they'll actually fade out after a while and disappear so you can't put anything large grid on a balloon 
and have it fly away, which includes the windmill. So, no, we cannot put a big windmill on the back of this thing or anything like that. Uh, also, right now, as you can see, I can barely lift just this fairly modest-sized ship with two balloons. So if we're going to make anything huge, which a lot of you guys would love for me to do, and I think eventually I will, it's going to take a lot more stuff. If you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed watching me fly through the skies, that was actually quite fun. I, I have to admit, that was really cool to fly on a balloon-powered ship that was neat and if you enjoyed that make sure and hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and you know all those other things come tell me on the discord what you thought about it and if you're really feeling generous then drop on by my patreon page it's the beginning of the month and it's a good time to do that so i'll see you next time on epic tech